Hello, wax friends. This is Maggie. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to do my empties. Now, my empties, this is a lot for me. Um, this is two weeks worth minus all those straggler days we were out of town and I didn't get to melt. So, actually, I'm going to tell you, I had some really, really good days. I really did. Um, the first thing I got through is I did get through a candle. Uh, twisted peppermint so you can see I had uh, burned it to about there and then this spent four days I'm 90% I'm sure it was four days and not three it was four days I know it was um, in the candle crock in my master bath and I put it there because a lot of the wax that I was melting in my open concept had um, a peppermint or a minty type of scent to it. And the stuff that I was melting in my open concept was so strong that I just put it in my bedroom for the second day. And I know some of y'all are thinking, girl, you've got 2000 pieces of wax. Why are you using this stuff? I cannot throw wax away that still smells. If I'm still getting performance, I, I can't. I can't throw it away. I've got to do something else with it, move it to another room, you know, whatever. It, that's just who I am and that's just the way it's gonna be. So I did that a lot. And so this candle went so well with so many things that I put in my bedroom. It did great. Um, I definitely need another one. I'm hoping around semi-annual sale time, they'll go on sale cheap. Okay, so I really don't have this stuff in any kind of order. I'm just gonna pull it and do it. Um, I finally finished my very first bag that I ever purchased of lavender cream puffs from Southbound. This is my all-time favorite scent from Southbound. It is probably, it is in my top five favorite scents ever. It's lavender, buttery pastry dough, creamy vanilla custard, sweet cream, and confectioner sugar. I love this. This is so pretty. I think it's girly. I think it's, I mean, when I smell this, I think of like pink, frosted wedding cakes with pretty flowers and pearls and just, I don't know. I, I don't know, but I get all kinds of just beautiful feelings when this is going. I have two more bags of this. I will forever repurchase this. I do use it sparingly. It's been a long time since I've used this one. And I'm trying to remember what Brad thought of it because we all know and I, I do put this in my bedroom is where I melt this. I've never used this in my open concept, although I think that it would throw like a beast and perform really well. Um, Brad's knows he doesn't, he never usually comments on anything he likes. And he's even said that, you know, he's apologized. He's like, it seems like every time I say something about the sense, it's something I don't like. But that's just what his nose has picked up. COVID really messed up his nose. And there's just a lot of things he doesn't doesn't like. But we'll see today because this is going in the bedroom today. And he hasn't been in there since I put it in. But I love it. It's, And I'm still going to repurchase it regardless if he likes that one or not. Because that one I love and it makes me happy. There you have it. Now this one, this one I put in the bedroom would have had to have been... I don't, it was Thursday. I don't think I put fresh wax in Friday morning before we left. I don't know. This is, this is a year old. This is a custom I did with Broadway Wax. I named it Meredith because I was watching the Family Stone. It's Apple Mango Tango Beach Bum and Caribbean Breeze. I loved this when I first got it. It is a powerhouse performer. The set has changed a little bit. It's just a little different. Brad hated this. He despised it. Um, I know when I took it out today, I took it out this morning. I didn't put anything on yesterday when we got home. We were all spent. There was just no reason. I didn't have the energy to do anything but get in bed yesterday. Um, he hated this whatever day. It must have been Friday morning. I don't know. He, he just, and it, it was Thursday because it was multiple times throughout the day he came in and, and explained his hatred toward the scent. So I probably wouldn't make this one again. It wasn't my favorite of the customs I made with her. I will get a few of the others again. And 
Broadway Wax, this stuff is a hella performer. Everything I got from her performed like a beast. And so I do need to do more orders with her. But I probably won't get that one just because he disliked it so much. Okay, so I've said multiple times that I'm a little treed out right now. There's just so much, I have so much tree wax. So in my melting basket, I had pulled this Scentsy Bar of Just For You. I think I might've got this in one of those tin bar bundles maybe. Um, on Thursday. Okay, so first off, the notes in this one is blackberries, fir balsam, and pine needles. Okay, one clam, not enough for my open. I wanted to get rid of the tree a little bit. Oops. Um, so I pulled blackberry meringue and mixed with the Just For You. This was really nice. It was a solid, solid medium performer. Um, it threw pretty good, like I said, at about a medium, but the blackberry really brought, cut down the, the tree in this, and it's like, who would have thought? But I saw the blackberries in this one. I wanted to add some blackberry to it to kind of counteract. This was really good. I think blackberry spice might be good with this too. Really any kind of blackberry I think you could mix, but this is what I had. I, I didn't have a blackberry spice. Um, but this was good. It really was. I like being a um, little bit of a chemist. I really like mixing stuff, so it was good. Um, I've been trying to get through what I had from Lurid Apothecary, and I did get through, oh, I think almost everything. This one is Whoville, which is sweet musk, vanilla frosting, allspice, maple sugar, and a hint of pine. Yeah, this one was different. It doesn't have a lot of tree. I think the musk might be the strongest note. Kind of a sweet musk. Um, I put this just in my office a couple days. I know one, maybe two days. It was it was a light medium performer. Not my favorite from Lurid. Lurid's not open anymore, so I won't harp on that. Um, but some of the other Lurid I had really threw great. So I'll probably finish that this week just in my office. Okay. I had a clamshell of Winter Woods from Southbound. Trying to get through all of the clamshells I bought last Christmas before I really knew that I was going to need more than one. What I didn't know is that I had two of these. I think this is the one that I had two of. Um, thought I had one. What did I mix with that? Hold on just a minute. This is what I get for not being real prepared. I guess it was, I guess it was this. So one day I, I did this. So it's crisp winter air, fur needles, cherry almond, applewood, and cedar. So I thought, I'm gonna look for some cherry wax and see, see what I've got to put with this because one clam, again, not enough. So I pulled amaretto buttermilk pie, amaretto cherry to me, all and almond, kind of, you know, same vibe. So I had two of those from L3. And I had two maraschino cherry don't cost cross streams. So I took all of this and added with this. How interesting. This really worked well. This was a solid performer. It was a good medium day. And the cherry in this and then the extra cherry really kind of, you know, cut down on the tree note. Winner. Very good. I had a good day that day. Um... Today, in my open concept, I am doing some Rose Girls, whoops, Rose Girls, Have Yourself a Merry Mario Christmas, Peppermint Mocha Cookies, and Dunk My Donuts. Now, I had gotten a big stash from um, Drew. He was doing a D stash several months ago. I bought a bunch of Rose Girls from him, and um, he puts his sticker on here. This was from December of 21 when he got this. So this is really throwing well. I only have the two pieces left. So I'm going to finish this up this week. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of my double bag. Finish that up this week too. So I get all of that out. But yeah, it's throwing super well. I've got it in the whole open concept in my office. So it's doing really good. So 
Do y'all remember a couple weeks ago when I hauled these Tuscany raspberry jam cookie um, melts that I got at our local county market? They were 94 cents for the clamshell. Wow, this is scrumptious, yummy. This threw amazing. I We got sick, so I didn't get over there to get any more. Um, if I can get over there or if my mom maybe goes over grocery shopping, I'm going to have her look um, because this threw amazing. So if you get a chance, if you see any of this Tuscany, try it. I don't, I think I've had a lemon in the Tuscany before maybe because our Kroger used to carry this brand. <coughs> but I put that in the open and then I had three Bloody Mary samples from L3. This is like a huckleberry type um, berry blend. And I put these in my off, I put two of these in my office and this in my gray bathroom. Went great with this, loved it. Winner, winner. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's one of them that went two days in my bedroom. So I put that in my bedroom again. Don't get any better than that, 94 cents. I love finding treasures like that. Okay. Jeez. I got three sticky notes here in for one day. So, Southbound Frosty Clam. Whoops. This is elderberries, blackberries, plums, and fizzy pop with a hint of cool mint. I, this is the one I remember. I was going to ask if these were the wrong notes for Frosty because I get I get a tree note in there that doesn't remind me of what Cool Mint should be and I don't get any of the fruit per se. But anyway, I went by the scent notes. I mixed it with Sugar Plum Macaron Cranberry from Lurid. So I used these two in my open concept um, I put, they went great together. Um, I, and I put frosty is more balsam tree than mint. So I don't know if maybe that is the wrong note, but together it, it was, it was great. This is one also that I put in my bedroom the second day. So that was really, really good. I had really good luck with my Christmas clams from Southbound. <clears throat> um, that Winter Woods Southbound that has the cherry in it, I had two of those. I didn't know that. Otherwise, I just would have used the two of them together. But that's okay because I'm, I pulled um, my maraschino sugar cookie brick from Cincy. And I'm going to put that with it this coming week and see how that works. So, um, yeah, I have this Winter Wonderland clam from Southbound. It's black currant, raspberry, and juicy apples. This was really good. I put two clams or two little chunks of this in my office. And this was a solid medium performer. You know, none of these are anything that I'm going to say, oh, I got to get more. I got to get more. Um, when I'm ready to buy more Christmas wax and I'm on southbound and the time is right, I would definitely pick these up again. Um... Holy smokes, guys. I'm losing it. I just keep dropping things and oh, I don't know what I did with this. So I've got to think about that for a minute. Okay. Get into some of these that I used the week before last. Um, okay. Nutter Pie from Super Tarts. Hazelnut, almond, pie crust, and vanilla custard. I wrote Saturday Office. Bathroom. Only had two cubes left with Harper James Almond. Okay. So, I think what I did is I took the Nutter Pie and some almond cookies from Harper James, which is almond, vanilla, and cookie dough. And I kind of mixed these together. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm not having good luck with Super Tarts clams. I really need to start on my BAM bags and see what kind of luck I have with those. And maybe I'm just not getting powerhouse scents. Maybe I'm not, you know, ordering right. I don't know because there's so many people who love super tarts. So this is just my experience. Okay. 
Um, this is an okay almond cookie from Harper James. Some of Harper James wax is real, has been a really a powerhouse for me, and I love it. I mean, it's almond. What do you expect? If this isn't something that I would expect to blow me out of the house anyway, but it's a great blender to have. I don't know that I would have to repurchase this. I definitely would not repurchase Nutter Pie. Um... Um, one day, did that, was that Tuesday? No, it wasn't, I don't know. Okay, so one day, I think we might have been gone. Yes, I think we got home, like, toward the afternoon, and I didn't want to potentially waste any really good wax. <laughs> so, I pulled a couple of my candle craving little snap bars in pumpkin spice warm cookies and put this in all my warmers. I'm not gonna repurchase from Candle Cravings. She does have some really, really inexpensive wax. Some of it has thrown pretty well. Most of it has not. It's just not my cup of tea. But if you'd like to give the, give her a try, you know, I encourage everyone to make their come to their own conclusions on scents and on wax and stuff because we're just all so different. So you can't beat the price, even if it is not a great performer. If you get a couple things for the price, at least you know. Through the Woods from K's. Fraser Fur Sugar Cookie and Peppermint Stick. Um, oh, that's what I did. Okay, so I put this in my open concept. Like I said, I only had, you know, one clam. Um, I mixed it with Goose Creek Sugar Cookie. This is a really good sugar cookie. Really good. It's uh, sprinkled sugar cookies. This was, this was nice, you know. I love K's Wax. I usually have fantastic luck with everything I've gotten from her. I mean, not everything's going to be perfect, right? But, oh yeah, this, this was just a really nice, nice blend. And um, hopefully in a year, I'm ready for some more stuff like that. Like I said, I am pepperminted out. I am treed out right now. So, yeah. Okay, Santa's Workshop from Lurid. Balsam, candy cane, vanilla, and spice. I mixed that. Put this in my opened. I used my Bath and Body Works um, twisted peppermint candle before I had stuck it on my warmer. And peppermint whip from Goose Creek in my office. I haven't, I must have put that back on the shelf. That is a good peppermint candle. Goose Creek peppermint whip. And then I used a couple Santa san, uh, samples. It's raining mint and Santa's workshop. Rain, it's raining mint from Super Tart and Santa's workshop from Alchemy. I can't speak to this one because I was kind of sitting close to the warmer where this one was in. Super, super good. So this is another one I put the second day in my office. So yes, the mints are strong. Mints do well in my house, really well. Um, Ebony Violet, I had a little bit left of one of her layered souffles in Thug Passion and the Debutante. These are both like a fruity, strawberry mango, um, iced champagne type fizzy pop. Put this in my bedroom. It did nice for a day. I just had a couple small pieces. I wanted to get rid of it because it's, this was poured in April. So I just wanted to get that going. Love Ebony Violet Wax. Um... I haven't ordered from her in a while. I don't know if she's done a whole lot in a while, but I need to look in to see if she has anything scheduled. I, I have great luck with her wax. I really do. Um, in my open concept one day, I did pretzel bakery from Sassy Girl Aroma, which is caramel pretzels, ice cream, scoop breads, sugar cookie dough, and zucchini. This was okay. This was a solid medium. Um, I have another pretzel that I think I like better. Um, it is the monster cookie pretzel one, maybe. I think I've got that. I used it a little bit of it a couple weeks ago, maybe. Um, yeah, this was okay. I don't know that I would repurchase this. Okay, so I had a clamshell from Destination Wax and pine cones. And I had Ghosts of Christmas Past from the Bathing Garden, which is a balsam and cedar blend. P 
this pine cones had fresh balsam, spruce, cedar, and pine cones. So that's why I stuck these together. I thought that they would mesh well, and they did. Powerhouse, this worked so good. Spend a second day in my bedroom. Really, really good. Like them both. I would definitely get the pine cones from Destination Wax again. And, you know, I've had really good luck with my bathing garden. Disclaimer, my bathing garden is all a year old. So I am just melting stuff from last Christmas. So if you don't want to save your wax for a year, I completely understand. Um, but I have to say it's really performed well for me being a year old. But I can't say that it wouldn't have performed well for me being a month or two old. I don't know because I, I, didn't, I didn't melt it. I don't have a ton of bathing garden experience. Like I said, I bought the stuff last year. Kept seeing save your wax save your wax, and I did, and so that's all right. <coughs> okay, another Lord Apothecary that I was able to finish, and these were a year old. This is one of my very first vendor purchases. So I mixed under the Christmas tree, which is cinnamon, clove, orange, and balsam, and I mixed it with Secret Santa from Southbound, which is green apple, um, Dianjou pear, cinnamon sticks, holiday garland, and musky vanilla. Yeah, um, I liked that. I really did. This, these were some really good days that I had. Um, yeah, I just put these all together. They blended great together. Very nice scent. I'm thinking this one was stronger on the cinnamon. Is this the one stronger on the cinnamon? Which I was glad about. And then the fruit in the Secret Santa really mellowed it out. It's really good, guys. Really good luck performance with those. A couple things left. A couple things left. Um, Kide melts from L3. Uh, and coconut cream pie, shave cream, peppermint. I pulled these for Wednesday and Thursday in my office. I put they went two days in my office. This is Kide melts. Is that my KD melts? K-Dye mel melts? I know I'm saying that wrong. Yeah, this is super strong, and I know a lot of people like this. I would definitely um, get more of that. And then finally, I finished from Sassy Girl Aroma, Shampure Aveda type. Um, I put this in my basement, and that's basically where I've melted this. I did get this in a de-stash, so I didn't have a full brittle. Holy smokes. This thing is hella strong. Powerhouse came up my stairs. It was kind of mingling in my living room with everything else. I've had this Aveda type from a couple vendors. And it's, it's definitely strong. At this point, I don't think that I will be repurchasing this. Just scent preference, not performance. This performed amazing. Yeah, um... This is a really, really a strange scent, I think. It says coriander oil, eucalyptus, lavender, sweet orange, bergamot with a sweet, seductive aroma of ylang ylang. Yeah, this is really an interesting scent. I, it says a Veda type. Is that a shampoo? I, I don't know. I've never had it. But yeah, great performer. So if you are looking for this, uh, scent, Sassy Girl Aroma, if they have it. Like I said, great performer. I bet this is close to a year old based on the label, if not over a year old. Like I said, I got it in a D-stash. It was, it was an early D-stash. I wasn't even putting dates on my stuff at that time. So, that's it. That is my empties for the last two weeks. Um, yeah, it was really, really good melting days. It really was. There were some definite hits. Um, if I can find more of that, especially for 94 cents, this raspberry jam cookie, phenomenal. We'll definitely get more of that. Um, I have so much Christmas wax. I don't even know if I'll need to buy Christmas wax for next Christmas, but when I do, I'll definitely look toward Southbound stuff performed really, really good for me for, um, Christmas. Yeah, those are the hits. And Lord Apothecary, I'm telling you, 
I know she's not open. I don't know if she's coming back. I had really good luck with her winter scents. That's about all I have from her. But I had good luck with them, guys. Um, yeah. So that's that's about it. So thanks for stopping by, checking out my empties. I think I'm going to go ahead and make my last video today. And I'll probably post it. I hate sitting on videos. I just hate them on my phone. I want to delete, delete them off my phone. Uh, but I have uh, L3 haul. So... Thanks for stopping by. Have a good Sunday. Bye.